Good morning, everyone. Hello. Happy Friday. Well, <clears throat> I was just upstairs and I was looking for a book through my girls' old books. And I wanted to find a book that kind of goes with our theme this week of mice. And I found this is an old story. It's called A Fable. And it's called The Country Mouse and the City Mouse. And I want to read this to you. So here goes. It's kind of an old, old story. So it says, The Country Mouse and the City Mouse. Any mouse lived quietly in the country, and one day her friend from the city came to visit her. Annie was delighted. What do you think delighted means? Can you talk to your parents about that? Melissa, dear, welcome to the country, she said. Do come in. So here she is. Here they are. Annie Mouse asked some friends in for lunch, but Melissa did not eat one nibble of the meal. Annie proudly served. In the city, I dine on spice cake and nice things, said the city mouse rather grimly. So she doesn't care for the food they're eating. I don't know if that's nice. In the city, I have a machine that plays music, and I dance on a velvet carpet, said Melissa. Oh, Annie, won't you leave this dull country life behind and come to the city with me? My, it does sound tempting, said Annie. Do you think she's going to go? Can you make a prediction? Do you think she's going to go to the city and try it out? Let's see. So Annie rode off to the city with her friend. Honk, honk, beep, beep, toot, toot. Please drive slowly, begged Annie. Can't hear a word, screamed Melissa. Isn't it marvelous fun? Do you think Annie's having fun? Mm. Melissa's home in the city was beautiful and such fun to explore. They raced down the hall. Suddenly, woof! barked a fierce, angry voice. Help, it's the dog, squeaked Melissa, and the two friends ran shaking with fright. Do you remember what that word fright means? Like frightened? We talked about that before. They slammed the dining room door just in time. The poor country mouse almost fainted with fear, but Melissa said, oh, he chases me all the time. Come, Annie, climb up on the table beside me. Have you ever seen such food? Look at all the food. Oh, look what else is there. Not scary. Never, gasped Annie, still shaking with fright. There were dainty bits of spice cake and fine cheese and lots of other things. <gasps> oh, I am seeing things, squeaked Annie. Suddenly, I see a cat. It is a cat, cried Melissa. Run, run. They slammed the living room door just in time. Oh, sobbed Nanny. I have never been so frightened. Nonsense. You'll get used to it, said Melissa. There, I've put on the music machine. Would you care to dance? Do you think Annie wants to dance? I wouldn't want to dance after being scared like that. Suddenly the door flew open and there was a fearful noise. It's the vacuum cleaner, shrieked Melissa. Hold on tight to the curtain, Nanny. Hold tight, or the vacuum will gobble you up. Mm. That's an old vacuum. At last, the dreadful machine left, and the country mouse began to run. Annie, where are you going, called Melissa. Home to the country, squeaked Annie. Goodbye, Melissa. Thank you for the very nice time. Oh, help. Oh, oh, oh. The little mouse ran through the city. She ran and ran and ran, and she did not stop until she was safe in the quiet green country. That night, she told her gentle friends, I would rather lead a simple life than dine on riches and live in fear. Mm, I can tell she likes the country. I, like, I live in the country, and I like the country, too. 
It's nice and quiet and lots of things to do. But maybe you're a city person. We all have our opinion. So um, kind of tell your parents, would you rather live in the city or in the country and tell them why? And maybe you can draw a picture about that since we didn't get to draw a picture yesterday. Yesterday we were actually supposed to write numbers and we're going to talk about that in my next video. Have a great day.